Hey, we all love to have exciting backgrounds on our websites for our sections or our containers, but there's only so much you can do. You could put in an image, you could add in an overlay, you could have a solid background color. But what if you wanted to add in some shapes or maybe some moving objects? Well, yeah, there are plugins and there's code pens as well, but there is a really cool website which is completely free called bgjar.com. It's basically this website here. Um, Ignore the adverts that you will see on here when you first go on to it, which I think are a bit annoying. And if you just scroll down, you will then have these options. By the way, this is completely free. You don't have to sign up. They have quite a selection over here. Like we've got a meteor animated. I'm going to come back to the animated shape in a moment. If I just go down here, I mean, we've got a world map, polygon. I mean, there's, there's quite a lot of options here. I'm going to pick one that I do quite like, which is the hexagon. Let's just click that and we are now able to customize it. We can define the width and the height of the canvas that you're working on. So if you have a particular shape that you wanna, or a background you wanna fill in, uh, it could be a column, a container, a flex, but you know, anything like that, you can define your sizes. What you can also do is define a gradient color or even set it to be transparent. This is the bit I really like because you could have like, you know, a white background and then have your pattern on and you could have another color present on your website and this pattern now overlaps it. Let's just go down here. I can start to adjust the size of these hexagons, make them really big, big and small, whatever I want to do. Let's leave it at 50. I can even change the color of these. And by the way, you can use hex codes as well. You're not limited. So there are some various options down here for you to mess around with. Now, once I've got the pattern, you know, however I want it to look. All you're gonna do down here is get the code. Now, there is, there is an option to download that, but I wanna show you really simply how you can add this to your Elemental page or any other website using a bit of a HTML code. What I'm gonna do is click get code. And I'm now gonna take the code down here, which is CSS background image. I'm gonna copy that code. I'm not gonna modify it, I'm just gonna take the entire code. I'm then gonna go over to this page that I have over here, which is just a container with a bit of a heading in the middle. I'm gonna click on the container and you can do this to a section as well. I'm gonna to go to my advanced tab for the container and I'm gonna give this a class name. I'm gonna call it BG1 for simplicity, okay, because it's a pretty easy word to remember. I'm then gonna go down to custom CSS and I am gonna type .bg1, because that's the class name, uh, curly bracket, curly bracket, open and close, and inside of the curly bracket, I'm gonna drop this code and watch what happens to the container when I do that. Well, that is basically how simple and easy it was. I'm just gonna very quickly go back to my style for my container, go to my background, and I'm now gonna go, ah, oh, you know what, we'll go for this uh, gray color like that. And if the sizing wasn't right, I could either adjust it over here, you know, I could just go, oh, let's just make it taller and bigger or whatever, or I could go back over to this page here and adjust the width and the height here as well. Well, that is super, super simple. And I now just wanna go back to, well, you have loads of options here. Okay, loads of options and you can modify them. But I really wanna show you this one, which I think is a, a pretty nice one that I see a lot of people using is the animated shape. Let's go in here. I'm gonna set this to be a transparent just for the sake of it. I'm gonna make it be a little bit transparent. So something like that. And, and you can decide on how this sits. So is all the items mainly in the corner? You can actually probably see them moving ever so, well, you probably can't, you will see them moving. I'm gonna just set them to be random. Uh, you can in increase or decrease the items. Uh, let's just go for something like, I don't know, let's just go for like that crazy. You can even decide if you wanna have these types of shapes, or maybe you only wanna have circles or maybe you just want to have blobs. It's entirely up to you. Let's just decrease it a little bit, actually. That's probably a bit too crazy there, okay? And I'm now going to hit get code. Again, I'm going to get that code, go over to my page. Uh, in fact, what we will do is we'll leave that background on for now. Go to advanced, we'll leave it as BG1. Go over here. I'm just going to completely get rid of everything. Type dot BG1, open bracket, curly bracket, whatever you want to call it. And I'm now just going to paste my code and watch. Uh, if you look carefully enough, you are going to see those blobs basically moving. Don't get me wrong, it's not like bouncing all over the screen. You could almost call it subtle movement. But I think bgjar.com, which is completely free, could give you 
some extra background unique bespokeness which saves you now going and getting separate images or whatever you were loading in before or even a separate plugin. I'm Imran Web Squadron. Like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that stack, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag, cause I sing what I mean, and I bring it to the mad light, ain't got time to kill, I got time to fill, I took the red pill, I know life's short, so I wanna live real, but how's it supposed to feel?